Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about moving whistle signals. Now whistle signals are the way that the engineer communicated with the ground crew and also a warning device to help people know what was going on and what they were doing. Now in the early days, successions of long and short signals and in certain combinations created certain sound effects. Of course, most people are familiar with long, long, short, long as a grade crossing sequence. So let's play that really quickly. So this is the way the railroad crews talked to each other to let them know what was going on. Now other whistle signals that we've talked about in the past include things like calling the flagman to protect the rear of the train. So while moving you're going to hear a long blast of the whistle and three short. And the flagman would know to go and protect the rear of the train and get ready when they stop to get off and start walking that mile long walk behind the train. But today we're going to talk about automatic whistle signals. Now in our function mapping we have CVs dedicated for the forward whistle signal which is two long blasts of the whistle. We have the reverse whistle signal which is three short blasts of the whistle and then the stop whistle signal which is one short blast of the whistle. Now these tell the crew that the locomotive is either about to move or it's stopped and it's safe to get off. Now out of the package you have to do these whistle signals yourself. So for example if I'm going to move forward I have to do it and then start to move my locomotive. But you can set these up to run automatically using your forward and reverse and as well as your speed to dictate which signals to play. So then to automatically have the whistle signal forward enable when we're moving in the forward direction, we're going to take CB 1.407 and we're going to set it to a value of 1 for moving in the forward direction. So to do this, we're going to take CB 32 to a value of 1 and that is the 1 dot part of CB 1.407. Next we're going to program CB 407 to a value of 1 which is 1 the value for moving in the forward direction. So now when I start to move my locomotive in the forward direction you hear that whistle signal of two blasts of the whistle when we're moving in the forward direction. Now you notice you don't hear anything when we're stopped and then when I reverse my direction again you're not hearing any of those whistle signals. So CV 1.408 is for the reverse whistle signal and 1.409 is for our stop. So to set this we're going to set 408 to a value of 2 which is the reverse moving value. So we're going to go ahead, now 32 is still set to 1 so I don't need to change that. We're going to set 408 to a value of 2. Now for the stopped whistle signal we want that whistle signal to happen both when you're stopped in the forward direction and stopped in the reverse direction. So those are worth a value of 4 and 8 respectively. So since we want both of those active we're going to put both of those bits in so we're going to take 4 plus 8 which is 12 and we're going to set CB 1.409 to a value of 12. So again CB 32 is still set to 1 so we're going to set 409 to a value of 12. And now you notice that you heard the whistle signal because my locomotive is stopped and since the sound effect is turned on you heard the whistle signal. So now when I move in the reverse direction you hear the three short blasts of the whistle and then when I come to a stop you hear that single blast of the whistle. Now this is how you can set up your whistle signals to be automatically based on direction and your load motion of the locomotive. And so by using these features you can go in and automatically have these sounds play when you set up your locomotive. Now for more information please go to our website at Soundtracks.com and download the user's guide where it will give you full detailed information. This forward moving, reverse moving and forward stop, reverse stop sound effects are available for every one of our user triggered sound effects including whistles, bells, all of that. So be sure to check that out in the user's guide.